Welcome to Tibber is Dead, everyone. My name is Whitney, and welcome to another Cast Monday. We are doing a series based on the seven deadly sins, and today we are working on wrath. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, definitely check them out. I'll leave the link for the playlist in the description below as well as at the end of this video. But we've already done Pride and we've already done Greed. Uh, so for Wrath, I gave her the aspiration of the bodybuilder. I, I figure it's kind of a good way for her to maybe get her anger out and, you know, just any excess energy she has. Of course, she had to be hot-headed, and I made her mean. And then I have a custom content trait of the drama queen, and I gave that to her as well. I figure she probably, you know, loses it at every little thing, and it's kind of dramatic. So that's why I went with that. Um, and I did decide to go ahead and make all of my Seven Sins sisters. So I do try to go for a very similar, like, skin tone uh, and an overall look to them, you know, similar facial features and such like that. Obviously, I'm not using the genetics. I go oh, in and add their relationship later, but they are also only half sisters as well. Um, I figure for backstory wise, they probably share the same father, different mothers and grew up, you know, with their, their specific mother and not with each other. Uh, and maybe they met later in life, but they get their sin from their father. So that's kind of what they share. And so I did want to give them, you know, kind of similar looks and skin tone and such, which you will see uh, that, that they have later on as we get further and further into the different sins. I've actually at this point have completed all of the seven sins. I've done all of the creative sims and the builds for them, which I just, I had so much fun. And I found myself really wanting to create them. And I didn't want to wait each week. I wanted to just have them done. And I even felt like drawn to play them as well. Um, and so I kind of got them together and such as I was playtesting the different builds. Which you will see you know, going forward in different screenshots and, and whatnot. Especially the last, the last sins. Because I had you know all the rest of them done at that point. At this point there's only three. And so I think I did get them together, um, but there's only three of them, so it's, it's not quite as exciting, I guess. Um, that's not even the right word I'm looking for, but I don't know what I'm looking for. So, um, But yeah, this is Wrath. You can see I'm going with the color theme, and so I try to give them their names based on what color I was going with. And then, of course, you know, hair color, eye color. And clothing, I went with that specific color. And then the same in the builds as well. I really tried to stick to a specific color. And I, you know, kind of added in, um, you know, like I think I would use white or black to kind of break it up a little bit. But for the most part, you know, they had a pretty solid color theme. The only one I didn't do that with, which you will see going forward, uh, is Gluttony, which is orange. Because it was really hard to find orange building stuff and, and such that went well together. Uh, and so I do use a lot of black for my gluttony sim, but I figure that's okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is my wrath, uh, sin and I really like her. I think she's cool. She kind of has an edgy look. Uh, I like the scars on her. I decided to do that. I figure either she got the scars because she's angry and always getting in fights and such, or something happened to her that caused the scars and that's part of why she's angry uh, and she kind of let her anger take over over her uh, i'm really not sure which backstory i'm gonna go with for her but i'm leaning more towards the second one like something happened because she wasn't always like she always had anger issues but she wasn't always super angry until whatever happened um, did and then she got those scars and, and now she's just extra angry so um, we'll have to see I definitely want to create a little bit more in-depth stories you know once I start getting into gameplay and such within my save file so you can look forward to that for sure but now we are creating her outfit you see her makeup look I went with red lip classic had to go there and then some red eyeshadow shadow and pretty heavy eyeliner as well uh, for this look, though, for her everyday look, I was going to use this top. I ended up not using it because the pants I found I really, really wanted to use. But I do use this top later on. 
So these are the pants that I decided to use. I thought they were perfect for her. They were the right color. They had that edginess to them, but the top just didn't go with them. And I really wanted to use these pants because they're not normally pants I would use. And then, so I'm trying to get a lot better at using items that I wouldn't typically use because I find myself, you know, gravitating towards specific looks and specific items and it's kind of getting redundant. So I'm really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and having kind of the inspiration, you know, and a specific color theme is really helping, you know, and kind of a, a certain aesthetic is really helping as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the pants I went with. And then I like this top here. I do end up giving her a tattoo and the top really showcases a tattoo very well. So I love that. And I had definitely had to go with boots. You know, she's, she's an ass kicker. And so I wanted to go with boots, you know, definitely kind of that tough chick feel. And so she has boots for a lot of her, her outfits, which you'll see. But now I'm just kind of running through the different tattoo options. Unfortunately, not a whole lot to work with. This back tattoo is the one I end up keeping. The rest I end up getting rid of. I just didn't like how they, they looked on her. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I could see her being heavily tatted, but like I said, there wasn't a lot of good options. And so I ended up just keeping the back tattoo. I actually went in after this and I just recently did a CC haul and I got a whole bunch of tattoos. So in the future, when I'm creating a character like this, I'll have more options for my tattoos because it was a little bit frustrating creating her and not having the options that I wanted, you know, nothing was quite right for her, but, um, now we are working on her formal look, and I do go actually go back into her everyday look and add a few more things, because I realized I didn't do any nails or accessories, you know, for her, her hands or anything like that, but this is, well, the previous dress is what I went with for her formal look, uh, just nothing else was quite right, I know this isn't as edgy, as it could be, but I still think it works well for her. Um, I definitely really like it on her, and so that's the dress I decided to go with. But here I added this wrist with the, it's the bracelet that leads down to the rings. I thought that fit her very well. And I added these nails, which I never use. I don't know what, I don't get my nails done, so I know there's like different, um, terms for the type of nail you get but I like these long pointed ones for her I never use them because they just seem a little bit too extra but I thought they worked really well for Wrath you know I could see her kind of using them as a weapon and so I really really liked them on on her and I actually give them to her for every look including formal I almost went with something a little bit different for formal but in the end I decided you know what no like, I really like those nails on her, and I don't think she would mute down just because it's a, a formal event or anything like that. So, um, that's why I ended up keeping those nails throughout. But I think, like I said, I think they fit very, very well for her. And then, of course, we got to give her her makeup. So, again, just some basic red eyeshadow, heavy eyeliner, and the red lip. For the red lip, I did, like, a different um, shade, I guess for each look to kind of match the outfit. I tried to adjust the shade of the red based on the outfit she was wearing. So uh, this is the red lip I went with for this outfit. And then I just give her a little necklace. And then of course, like I said, I give her her nails again. But I think she's really pretty there, even though it's not quite as edgy as some of her other looks. And now we are on to athletic, which her athletic wear I kind of got stuck on this top because there's not a lot of like edgy options, but this top is definitely, I would say, a little bit edgy. Unfortunately, because it's full body, you can't put pants over it. Ideally, that's what I would have done. I would have done this top with pants over the top, but because I couldn't do that, I just put leggings underneath. Um, and then, of course, again, some boots because she's, she's a tough chick, so she would definitely have, have the boots. Oh no, I went with these shoes. Sorry. I was going to go with the boots, but I just don't see boots really working for working out very well. And I see her as somebody who would take working out pretty seriously. 
Uh, and so I decided not to use the boots. That's that's what happened. I was gonna use the boots though. Uh, and now we are on to her sleepwear, of course, which no makeup here and nothing too over the top for her sleepwear. I mean, it's sleepwear. Uh, what what are you gonna do? So I give her these pants and just a little tank top there, and then of course her nails again. And then for her party look, this one there was several different outfits I was considering. I ended up going with this one here. I like this one a lot, but I thought it was just a little bit too much, but it's definitely very edgy and would have worked well for her. And then this dress here would have actually been good for her formal look, I think. It's just it wasn't an option and I decided not to go back to change it. So I did this outfit because it's not something I would normally use. And like I said, I am really trying hard to use items and outfits that I wouldn't normally gravitate to or use. And it was a little bit different for her as well. It's not quite as edgy. It's a little bit more fun, which I thought was really cute. And so that's why I ended up going with it. I do not keep that hat. It doesn't match. It's not the same shade of red. So I do not keep that hat at all. But um, yeah, I really thought this was a cute outfit for her. It's just a little bit too busy for my own personal taste. And I wouldn't necessarily use it on a sim normally um uh, like i said i think we all do it we all gravitate towards certain items and and objects based on our own taste you know um but i'm really trying to kind of push outside my comfort zone so that's why i did that and you know and then just some basic little booties there and like i said i do get rid of that hat but of course i gotta add some makeup first so some red eyeshadow as always uh, I thought about using that mask one, but it just it's just too much. Uh, so I ended up using this eyeshadow here, and then again, just some liner and some red lip again. <laughs> like I said, there's kind of a theme here. Uh, it's, it's the same one throughout. Uh, and I think with red, the makeup for her was, was pretty easy. I think it's harder on some of the other sims based on the color, but for her, you know, a red lips classic, and so it was really easy to use that on her. Um, and then, you know, having the heavy eye sh eyeliner and shadow worked nicely for her as well, so I was pretty happy overall with her, um, her look. And then I am going to add in a necklace here. I actually do the choker with the, the spikes down there. Uh, and I do it in red, and fortunately for me, the red match, so I really like that. Uh, I mean, black would have worked out fine, but I would really like how the, the red worked with the outfit she had. So, now we are on to her swimwear. Again, not a whole lot you can do, not very edgy. I just did this tank top for her top, and then the basic black bottoms there. And she actually has sunglasses for this one as well. And then, of course, I give her her nails. No makeup, because she's swimming. So, why would she have makeup? And now we are on to her hot weather look. I almost used the, that first outfit, this one here. Uh, I almost went with this again, but the pants I found, I found the shorts with like the little flames on them. And I always want to use them and I never think they look good. So I really wanted to use them for this sim and of course that top just does it doesn't go well with it and so I end up using this top here which I thought worked a little bit better but still had a similar vibe to that first top um, that I wanted to use but like I said it just kept kept not quite fitting right with the rest of her outfit so and then some basic shoes and of course her nails gotta come back and I think give her her eyeshadow again. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't remember if I gave her sunglasses or not on this look, but I doubt I did since I'm going with the eyeshadow. Um, I probably did not give her sunglasses, but that's okay. And I was going to give her a hat, I think, but I end up not doing it for some reason. Um, maybe that was a different sim. I think it was her, though, that I wanted to give a hat, but it just... I just didn't like how it, how it looked with this look, and so I ended up not doing it. But he, she's definitely definitely a cutie, and I really like her. Okay, I do give her the sunglasses. I was like, I couldn't quite remember, but I put the makeup on first. So, <laughs> and yes, here's, here's the hat. Um, but I was going to give her that previous one there, but just, I don't know. It kind of took away from the edginess for me, and so I ended up not giving her 
it there. But I do give it to her for her cold weather look, which I think works well. Um, it definitely works better for this look than it did the hot weather. But I'm trying to use hats more as well. I don't really like the hats in The Sims. I don't think they sit correctly or anything like that. So there's only a few that I'll actually use. And this is one of them. And yeah, now just some cold weather wear. And so she has to have, of course, a jacket. And I actually used that first top that I was going to do for her everyday look. The long sleeved, like, leather looking one. Not very practical for cold weather, but definitely edgy. And I do that and I pair it with, what do I pair it with? Like a pair of leather pants, I think, um, which you'll see here in a second. And so like I said, it's not very practical. It's more like if she's hanging out inside, um, but I don't see her like going outside and, and being very adventurous, um, you know, playing in the snow or anything with this look. Certainly not. She definitely would spend more time inside. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. And then, of course, some kick-ass boots again. Uh, but that is her look. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. And remember to check back in on Friday for her build. And I hope you guys have a great week. And we will see you all on Friday. Bye! Bye.